Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Kappa Zender. Yep, the tank which you can buy from the ranked store and tomorrow more likely we are going to play with a Concept 1B just to show what you can buy uh, from the ranked battles. And if you are wondering how the flying if I can purchase Kappa Zender or Concept 1B and the question which is probably every single of you are, well, wondering which one of those two tanks is better honestly both of the tanks are great both of the tanks are epic and it doesn't matter which one would you buy uh, it is very you can't make a mistake pretty much you cannot because they are very very good anyways you are clicking uh, right here and after that you are going to the ranked battles and what you are finding yourself you are finding yourself this thing here you are clicking the score you are clicking on the bone store and you are figuring out oh i can buy tanks so you can buy um concept you can buy some styles if you want to you can buy skoda charlie magne which i do not recommend to buy and obviously kapazander so from the bone store honestly the best purchase could be Kappa Zander and Concept 1B undoubtedly. And now, uh, which is one thing which is extremely important thing to say is you can even get discounts for yourself. Uh, if you are clicking on the missions, you are seeing uh, whenever you are completing ranked battles, so going through the four stages, like a qualification, Division 1, Division 2, Division 3, right, or Division 3, Division 2, Division 1, you can access to the missions and pretty much you need to play after that 20 battles, 1000 bonds, off uh, another 20 battles, 1000 bonds off, 30 battles, 1500 bonds off, uh, and another 30 battles, uh, 1500 bonds off. Is it worth it? You tell me. Uh, it depends on you fellas, honestly. And now, without further ado, what we are going to do, we are going to go into the game with a uh, Kappa Zander. And uh, before this, I really want to share my average performance with this vehicle, so expectation values for a video should be pretty damn high. Um, on average, I'm playing for uh, 3.7 thousand damage and 1.2 thousand assisting damage. So what that basically means, that basically means we are aiming for uh, pretty much, I would say, 5,000 combined. That's what we need and that's what we are looking for, right? That's what we are aiming for. So let's go. Uh, and remember, fellas, to uncheck your cruise whenever you are playing with a tank which you haven't played in a while. Uh, and the main reason for that is you are ge going to get uh, some experience and experience you are going to be able to use on the battle. Well, not battle pass, but the field modifications, which is extremely important thing. Ain't hey, nah. Fellas, uh, I would say my father is definitely working today. Okay, interesting. So what do we have, fellas? We have a Kempinovka against the tier 7s. This is just godlike matchmaking. Okay, uh, what Kapazander is capable of doing? Can this tank play hold down? Answer is absolutely yes, although one thing worth mentioning, this is a weak spot here. Um, not many people know about this, but if you are shooting into this flat armor, you are going to penetrate Kapazander without bigger problems whatsoever. I do not know in the number speaking what armor is, but uh, it is it is pretty damn weak. What is our biggest threat in this battle? I would say M103. I would say. I don't really think we have anyone else who can be so damn dangerous. Okay, T30 could be. T30 could be okay. Our phase one is going down. That's not good. How many guys do we have? Hmm. Okay, listen. Uh, there is a tourist cover, cover five. And what we are going to do, we are going to claim this tourist life. I believe it makes sense to get a couple of shots here. And I don't want to get too involved. The main reason why I do not want to get too involved is because I do not know how many people uh, enemies are going to have on top, so we need to be uh, quite careful. Anyways, hello Mr. Light Tank, that's very good. And once again, all we need to do, we need to get this yearly damage, right? 
This is what we are doing and this is what we are dreaming about. Early damage, fellas. Guard, hello, how are you doing? And we are having the first guy which is going on top of the hill. Not a big deal, honestly. And all we need to do, we need to farm this guy. Okay, good. Still can do a lot of a lot of bad things for the enemies, as you can see. Gun handling of this vehicle is very, very nice. Uh, I mean, there is not many bad things which I could say about this time. There is not many things or bad things which I could say. Okay, first things first. Hello, mister. How are you doing? Okay, that's fine. I am going to go for another one. I definitely think I could afford this. Going for another one. Excellent. Even though we are taking one for the team from this tier 8, it is not changing absolutely anything considering he doesn't have armor in the turret. Uh, and I truly mean it. And I truly mean it. IS, and this is a farming uh, simulator for our team. It truly is. All we need to do, we need to open our eyes and we need to start banging them left, right and center. Which will definitely happen and in fact it is happening already. Hello mister. Hmm, that's actually weird how we are not penetrating his turret. Uh, because as you can see he doesn't really have uh, very great armor does he? Okay, next shot is going to go hit. Um, and obviously we are going to eliminate this tier 7 from the game. In fact tier 7 is already eliminated and now uh, the things will be completely different for this poor soul. We are going to load gold and we are going to try to beat the living crap out of him, right? We are face hugging this gentleman and we are trying to um, make and get as much use as we physically and possibly can. T30 unfortunately hit us, uh, which is on me. That's my mistake, but this guy is farmed, beautiful. And what we need to do now, we need to figure out can we uh, can we beat the living crap out of the people which is playing here, which more likely is the case. Luckily, IS3 is not paying that much attention, so we are going for him. Diary hit in the face, excellent. Can we get another one to this guy? No, we cannot. Nice. This is a great start but we are not even close for being over with this battle right uh, there is a lot of a lot of a lot of things which we need to do and which we will do luckily we managed to track the t30 while he is escaping and from now on he this guy is a farm for us um, do I mean by saying that? Absolutely yes, we are capable of beating the living crap out of him and the gun accuracy of this thing um, Overall, combination of the things is absolutely out of this world. This is one of the best tier 9 tanks in the game. And uh, when I am recommending to buy the tank, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I truly recommend to buy the tank, right? Uh, and you know what is the best thing of all this? Every single of you can um, grind this vehicle for yourself. Obviously, for a newer player, it is way harder but that's why i'm saying uh, to start uh, playing ranked battles um pretty much one week uh, one week in right so even though you will have only one week to deal with this uh but um you are going to have so much better time you will have so much better time Okay, listen, uh, we are not going to be too aggressive because I lost some unnecessary HP for the T30, which is obviously on me and I made a mistake and I can't cry about uh, being silly goose. Uh, but that's what we have and that's what we need to do. Anyways, we are about to run out of the standard ammunition, which is which doesn't really matter to be fair with you. I am still feeling extremely, extremely well. Even though I'm spotted, I do not really think enemies can do something for us. And in fact, I think I will start making pressure very, very soon. Yep, we are about to make pressure now. We are about to make a pressure now. I am not going to go through the open field. I will choose a bit different direction and I will try to push like this. Uh, this game is already absolutely amazing and it is very, very nice game for us for obvious reasons, right? So life is definitely pretty and life is beautiful. Trying to hit this guy with a blind shot. Probably missing the shot but it doesn't really change absolutely anything. We are getting hit by the Jeff. Which is making us down to one shotable probably. For pretty much every single tank. Um, 
but oh well, what can you do? Meanwhile, can we find a nice angle for this type 61? Unfortunately, we cannot, but we can find the angle for this guy, can we? Oh, yes, we can. Hello, mister. Beautiful shot right into the butthole. Absolutely amazing. And now all we need to do, we need to find the Jeff, which was sitting somewhere here, right? If I'm not mistaken. If I am not mistaken, hello mister, how is your day? Beautiful, I see. Mean meanwhile, we spotted the Jeff, that's very, very nice. This guy is f beautiful. Now we are going to get some assisting damage from the Jeff. And once again, even armor of this vehicle is actually good. Even armor is good. Okay, that's fine. I was greedy, little mother trucker in the end, but this is the performance which we have. So first battle, six and a half thousand combined, it, or six and a half thousand damage plus nine and twenty assisting damage, uh, plus we might have some blind shots. Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about, and this is what this tank is all about. Um, it is great at sniping, it is great at making pressure, you have armor, especially if you are doing the things properly, not like I did, right? Uh, and overall, this vehicle is very, very nice. If I'm not mistaken, this tank can side scrap against the uh, 122mm gun, if I remember this correctly, but soon we will check it out. Okay, um, 999 assisting damage, uh, 6,500 uh, 6, um, damage dealt absolutely amazing okay now let me check it out very quickly yeah whole armor you see 40 millimeters whole armor you cannot side scrap against the tanks which have a, a one to two millimeter gun on a high or higher keep this in mind and i made a mistake while side scrapping against the against the um, guard because he simply overmatched me how i could do the things i could try to pick frontal and bait the shot uh, so that's on me and i almost forgot to mention this anyways let's go into the other game with a couple them and once again this is good thing so hopefully you will keep this in mind and you won't side scrap against whatever is3 or or someone else but if you are fighting against the e5 or m103 on the corner you can easily 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 side scrap okay tier 8 tier 9 matchmaking this is looking pretty damn nice um and we need to make a decision do we want to be aggressive or not really Do we need to be aggressive or not so much? The first thing which is happening in my head is to take the hotel 5-6 position so you are capable of um, shooting someone who is crossing, especially slower tanks like T95 or whatever heavy tank. Um, so this is the first thing which is happening in my head. Very nice. Let's do this. Meow. As I think Sky Master is from Latvia. That's what I think. Okay. Going to position. Good. No. What we are going to find in the corner? Let's see, can we spot some heavy tank which is making pressure like this? Udes? Definitely not heavy tank, Leo Pata. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what I want, but this is what we have. Luckily he low rolled us for, for a huge margin, so that's very nice. That's very nice. Not exactly what I love to see. Okay, what is the chance the Leopata will try to peek once again like this? What do you think? And once again, people which are peeking like this, because we have one, we can definitely farm them without bigger problems whatsoever, right? Keep this in mind. This is very, very nice stuff. Hmm. Oh, this. T95. What is happening in my pigeon head? I want to I want to get somehow used, right? I truly do. But how to get used? This is the different question and uh, pretty damn hard one, honestly. 
and pretty damn hard one. Good. You might think I am sitting uh, very very badly here, but I am not. I am feeling completely fine. The thing is, we have some support in the back. Uh, we have Scorpion, which is waiting to help for us. At least that's what I want to believe. So we are feeling just fine. Oh yo 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 T95. I repeat T95. No 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 Hmm. Okay. Uh I know exactly what we need to do. If we need to if we want to win this game, um we simply need to go and clear this side well actually we are winning this game already it is not even debatable right we won this game fellas now the question is how much we can farm from all this before the game will end probably this is the main question now anyways we are going for this guy doesn't really matter oh leo hello dear mister i hope you are feeling very very great t95 is looking at this side so we do not really want to peek here Mm, Esterva is in the side. Let's try to beat the living crap out of Esterva. Hopefully we can do this. That was way too close. That was way too close. Trying to snap the guy. Unfortunately failing doing so. But that's on me. Not much what I can change about this. And now we are trying to get involved just like this. Okay, uh, the worst thing of all this is enemies have no team, right? I am, I owe a big uh, apology for this guy. I did not meant to block his shot, but sometimes it happens, right? And believe me, it, it wasn't intentional. Sometimes it happens. Okay, let's try to go a bit like this. Good, this guy is dead. Excellent, and now T95 uh, bang up the butt. Yeah, enemies had no team. Whoa! Okay, okay. I did not saw that one coming. So this is a fail from my side. Uh, what I can do about this? Absolutely nothing. I truly did not expect that the T95 is going to turn towards us. That's why I did not even check it out. I thought, okay, they are having a fight. Two T95s, two turtles. But uh, I was wrong. So this game is extremely bad for us. Uh, it just simply went bad. Why so? Um, I would say I played quite aggressively and unfortunately but my decisions we are a pile of shit. Uh, plus on top of that unfortunately but... Um, Unfortunately, fellas, but uh, enemies um, enemies played quite badly, right? So that's why they are losing 15 to 3. And I needed to be even more aggressive when I lost quite some unnecessary HP in the start of the battle. But once again, it happens. Not much what we can change about this. Uh, so this is what this tank is capable of doing, right? I am sad uh, game went like this. I am truly sad, fellas, because this tank is dead definitely capable of doing way more than that you saw uh, the previous battle yourself hmm pity oh well what can you do let's teleport into the third game and let's hope for the best obviously um if i would replay this game i probably would uh, notice quicker i need to push the um north side instead of sitting in the south side probably that's what i would do honestly so yeah okay one more game with a Kappa Zander. The Vai Kappa Zander. Give me something nice. Like 6,000 nice. Extremely good matchmaking for us. Extremely good map for us. All we need to do, we need to go uh, up the hill. Right into the hill. Flank, Aka, Charlie, 3, Bravo, 3. Uh, also one more thing which is worth to mention. Um, I think we have more tanks which can play hold down. We have double MLs and concept. And enemies. And plus on top of that we have STB and Kapazander. And they have uh, who can play hold down. Pretty much ML. And Esterva, but Esterva we will go through this tank like hot knife through the butter, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, what is kind of my thread, if our team will farm the upper side way quicker than I expect, but we'll see. Although I believe one thing which is worth to mention, 
Um, one thing which is definitely worth to mention, fellas, uh, is enemies are having better spawn usually. At least that's what I noticed. Um, I am I am having kind of better score whenever I am playing from the enemy side, and it's kind of easier to hold it. At least that's what I think. Okay, let's take our time. Pir 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 slowly but surely, fellas. Slowly getting into position. Fosh is sniping from the back. Good information overall. So we are not going to get permanently tracked. You know how the things can go sometimes. So yes, you do. Oh yes, you know. Okay, we are losing on two and a half thousand HP, which is not very nice thing, but oh well, what can you do? And now, uh, if Mr. Tortoise will make a decision to make a pressure like this, uh, we could bang him. And here we go, side angle to the Mr. Tortoise. Yeah, in this kind of situation, I would say we will need to shoot quite a bit of APCRs, fellas. Uh, or quite a bit of gold Aka hit. Oh, Tortoise with a second gun mark. Ooh. This is too greedy from the tortoise side. Uh, this is a mistake by this gentleman, fellas. This is a mistake. I get the point. The pressure is on whenever you are playing um, for Mark of Excellence and everything. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. And I saw the fireworks coming. That's not great. That's definitely not great. Okay, how about this guy? Okay, Kapazander is sitting here in the city. Okay. Listen, uh, plan B, we need to escape from here before it's too late because our team unfortunately is losing quite uh, heavily. I do not really understand why our team is losing so heavy, but it is how it is. Not much what we can change about that. Uh, only one thing which we could do now is to escape, obviously, before it's too late. And in fact, maybe we can farm this Leopata. We have some support here, which is important. So hopefully we will be able to kill the Leopata. And after that, hopefully we will be able to farm this one to one B. Uh, quite sad thing, once again. Unfortunately, this is a sad story for us. Uh, but um, we can't change it. We truly cannot change it. We are going to go back like this and we are going to start farming this guy. This guy should be dead meat very, very soon and kaboom. One more shot and he is going to be dead. And after that we will have some support from the, from our team. And hopefully we can get um, some assisting damage in the end of the day. Obviously, once again, this is not even a competition speaking about 1 to 8. Uh, unfortunately, but World of Tanks uh, balance side is sucking a massive PP. Uh, and it is very rare situation whenever you are having actually um, balanced games, if you know what I mean. And this is, and my heart is bleeding because of this, believe me. If you think I want to see this... Uh, the simulator like this I don't I don't really think anyone does uh, but um, in the same time we just need to do what we need to do right we need to hold this and we need to go uh, through this this is only one way how we can do the things uh, properly probably I mean, I want to make this tank work and to show how it looks like, but if in the first two minutes it is the score, um, if in the first minutes you are having the score of 10 to bloody 2, I mean, you can go and F yourself, you can't change anything. Uh, but I don't really think everything is that bad, and hear me out. What War Gaming is doing currently with the Recon game mode, they are making maps larger, bigger, whatever. And what that basically means, I think that could be where gaming plan to make games a bit longer. Because now with a bloody 15 to 2 simulator in 5 minutes or even 3 minutes or sometimes 2 and a half minutes, it's just dog shit experience. So... What is happening? I think uh, I think where gaming is actually uh, having a plan how to fix it. Uh, don't call. I mean, this is only prediction. Maybe they just do not care. Also, could be possibility. But uh, 
that's how I feel like and that's how I can see the things. And let me know in the comment section down below what do you think and obviously what you think about the Kapazander because I think the tank is absolutely amazing and it is beautiful. But once again, two games in a row we had like the worst case uh, scenario possible in previous game. I think I messed up in this game. I think uh, there was no chance for us to do absolutely anything when enemy team was so strong, right? Uh, so yeah. And in, in the previous game, I think I could play a bit better. But it is how it is. No complaints, no regrets. A Starva key farm at 5,000. Ho, 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 ho. That's actually impressive. And our guys which could play hold down, they did zero. Shame. Absolutely shame. Oh, yeah, yeah, sometimes it's not about the tanks, right? Anyways, uh, this is what we have with the Kapazander after... Oi, 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 oi. After three battles, we are on 3.7 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. Eh, what can you do? Shame, this is not a great performance for this tank. I was aiming for 5,000 combined, but once again, two bad games, one good game. What can you do? Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you, I made your decision a bit easier. Which tank to get from the battle, uh, which tank to get from the bloody ranked battles. And believe me, buying Kapazander, you cannot make a mistake. You just can't. Thank you very much for watching. That was your daily dose of skill and I am out. Thank you and see you soon. Peace.